Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is CC Era here, and we are back with another video. Today I'm gonna be talking about four looks from four Instagrammers that are big influencers, and then just one look where I feel like they just need to let it go. Let it go, girl, let it go. So we gonna do four looks I love, and then one just let it go. YouTube community may also know these people. If not, I'll have their Instagrams linked down below. But anyway, I just feel like when I get a check, okay, they're gonna have some competition, but you know, until then they can have the rank. So before we get into this video, guys, do not forget to click the subscribe button down below. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much for your love and support. It means a lot to me. And if you haven't already, turn on your notifications so that you'll know when I post next. Okay, without further ado, let's hop into this video. So I'm gonna put, pop the picture up on the screen, but I'm gonna be looking at it on my phone. That's just easier for me. So for the first look, it's for it's from Carla Deras. God, I love her. Okay, she does no wrong in my book. She just got married to her high school sweetheart. Love her aesthetic. She's just so minimalist, minimalistic. She's just so chic. She doesn't wear like a lot of labels. I mean, she does, but it's not like G G G G G over everything. It's just like more stuff. She just knows how to put pieces together. Like sometimes she even wears like her boyfriend's, like she'll wear like her boyfriend's shirt and like just a cute little slip on. I just love her energy. Even the energy that she exudes is just so positive. But this first look, I don't know. It's, I just love it. Okay, it's just like a little mini. It's giving me 70s vibes with like the, like the big sleeves. Um, and then I like that it's like an off-white and she paired it with like a new little sling. I think that's like Manolo I think she's wearing. Um, and then she never over accessorizes. I like that she just wore the hoops and like, I don't think she has a necklace. Yeah, she just has on hoops, no necklace, hair sleek back. I just feel like she gets it when I people say less is more. She definitely, definitely gets it and she just knows how to put these pieces together. Um, and yeah, I like how she paired it with the transparent bag. I just feel like that was just such a nice touch and it just brings the look in all together. It gives it more structure. Um, Cause I feel like the dress is like really playful, but the bag being so structured brings it back in. Like, no, I'm actually a grown woman though, okay? Or for her, it just looks like this is just who she is. And she just wakes up and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put this on with this. And yeah, these clothes look good together. And she just showers and get dressed. It just looks like just so effortless for her. So, good job, Carla Duras. Keep it up. So, secondly, I'm gonna go to my girl Kristen Noel Crawley. Okay, I love her. I feel like with this first look that I'm showing you guys, she takes. I feel like she takes pieces that are like really mainstream. Uh, cycling shorts like you have never seen those cycling shorts styled that way I feel like she made them look so chic she elevated cycling sh shorts I feel like with this look and because normally you see girls with cycling shorts on and it's just like that like Kim K look with like the sweater and like the cycling shorts the same color as the sweater or like a shade lighter and like took that that trend and just made it her that's what I, she doesn't overdo it I feel like if you're gonna wear something with like a wide neck. It's best to wear something like really dainty on your neck. And as you can see, she just has that really like dainty little chain there. I love that. I love how she went for just like the blunt straight cut bob because I feel like the peplum top is just structured and the bob is giving me even more structure. But then you bring the cycling shorts in there and it's just like, I don't take myself that seriously actually. <laughs> And or it's, it's basically saying like, oh, that's how you wear cycling shorts, Kim K. This is how I wear cycling shorts, Kim K. Oh, and then she just paired it with like the Jimmy Choo, like little pump. And I love how the Jimmy Choo's are just like so glam. And you would think that you would pair those with like a ball gown. But again, she shows you that it works with cycling shorts and a peplum top. It just works. You just, and then pairing it with like just a little bitty bag, the little clutch she has. I just feel like again, it's just like the shoes and the bag is giving me really glam, but then she put the cycling shorts and the peplum top and it's giving me street glam. I feel like that's the best way to describe this look. Instagram, her style is just like kind of tomboyish. So I feel like she always has that flair when she dresses like that light. Yeah, I give this look again a 10 out of 10. It's just everything for me. It's nothing that I would change. It just fits her so well. She looks amazing in it. Her legs look great. Yeah, 
shout out to you girl you did that you did that so for my next look i'm going to go to one of the kardashians courtney kardashian who in my opinion is the most chic one like it, it, looking at her it looks like she has some say so as to what she wears as opposed to like kim kardashian all her other sisters who probably literally have someone like put this with us and like i know i know kanye and like kim go out the house with uh she, she gotta be dressed one to the grocery store with him with his ass it's, but with Courtney, it just looks like, you know, she's like living her life, living her best life, like wearing the best clothes, putting it together, wearing it how she wants to wear it. So for this first look, you guys, Dior bag, going going back to like what's trending right now, that like Dior saddle bag is like so trendy right now. Putting the outfit just very simple and just pairing it with that saddle bag, I just feel like it's just a nice way to wear it. Because I just would hate, I just hate when people just like, I wouldn't wear that bag with like, I don't know, like a Moschino dress. I wouldn't wear that those two labels together because I just feel like it's just too much. I feel like the bag is expensive. It's a statement on its own, so you should just be solid, you know, more neutral with your fit and more simple with your fit. And I feel like that's exactly what she did. Um, and it gave me cool mom vibes and I like love it. Yeah, she gets it. Again, she's not over accessorizing. It looks like she just has on like a watch in the glasses and I feel like that's enough. Because if you start to wear, you know, Cartier bracelets and big ass earrings, it just starts to look like it's just too much. I just feel like less is more. And she gets it. Lastly, I have um, one of my favorites. I've just found her on Instagram and her name is Random and Chic. And she is a brown skin girl, shout out to us. She sells vintage clothing on her like Instagram and I think she has a website that she sells like vintage garments on. And the garments that she chews, like she definitely has like one of the best eyes I feel when it comes to like vintage shopping. Because the pieces that she chews, I feel like you, if you've seen it in a thrift store, you would not even, you would flip right past it. <laughs> You would flick right past it. But the fact that she chooses these pieces and she sees beauty in these pieces and then, you know, put them on Instagram and then show people that this garment can be beautiful. You know, don't pass that garment up when you're thrifting. I mean, it says a lot. I mean, because for instance, this first look, if I seen that, I would be like, this is for my grandma. I mean, it is silk. No, I, yeah, it is silk, so I probably will buy it. Just because it's, it looks to be silk, so I will buy it just off of that. But it, I don't feel like it's something that I would buy and it would just sit in my closet because I would not know what to do with it. Um, but again, the way she styled it, and I feel like she's giving me less is more, which I feel like is even harder when you're like thrifting. It's very easy though to get too just like thrifty looking or too just like over the top thrifty looking. And she just does it so, so well. I love how she just has the sleek back ponytail and just like the duster and giving me skin. And I feel like if you're gonna give skin on the top, you need to be covered on the bottom and vice versa. And she definitely, definitely gets that. All right, you guys, now here is for the let it go. Last Instagrammer slash artist is going to be the let it go. Let it go. Ariana Grande, I'm gonna need you to let go of these over the knee boots, girl. You're five feet tall, and I just feel like it's just too much for you. I know that she maybe wants to give the look of just long legs, but you're not tall enough for it. I just feel like you're just not tall enough for it. And she just looks like you just wanna cuddle her. She looks like a little teenager, and I did not know she's 25, girl, you're older than me, honey. Get it together. I'm gonna need you to give me grown woman vibes. I feel like she just really needs, she just really needs a revamp. Okay, I know she's worked with Luxury Law, so maybe he'll do something with her. She needs to give me like a very, I feel like a very sleek ass bob. Okay, part down the middle, sleek ass bob. I don't know, maybe a color. Um, I feel like she can still keep her like chunky sweaters, but she should just wear pumps with everything. Jimmy Choo's, Manolo's, with everything. And I feel like she would just look such, so much more elevated and she would look more like a grown ass woman because that's what she is. She's out here making moves. She's out here making money. And she just needs to look like a woman and not a little ass girl. That's what she's giving me. But yeah, these are just my opinions of people who I think get it. And Ariana Grande, you just need to hop on that train, girl. Hop on that train. Check out the Instagrams that I have listed down below. And yeah, get your life.
the top Miss Rumors that I just feel like I see, you know, daily and I just, they inspire me with their style. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. And because that's important too, this feedback is feedback. Um, and as always, do not forget to subscribe, please subscribe, support your girl. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Peace.